Hello, oh, welcome to another Eagle 6 test video. Today we're going to be testing, um, it's a build testing video, we're going to be testing the uh, customer's um, uh, upgrade build, uh, just to make sure everything's, um, nothing falls apart, nothing comes loose or anything like that in sort of these last final stages. Obviously, uh, externally we've done a range test on it, so everything's um, going fine there in that regard. Uh, so we've got um, just a slight lift at um, sort of 65 meters, 75 meters, uh, 70 meters at, um, uh, on, on point threes. Uh, so obviously this is set up to um, not really sort of cater to sort of firing twos and two fives. You know, this is definitely sort of more of a more accurate support gun uh, in how it's uh, uh, leaning towards. Um, so uh, so yeah, so the, 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 I'd say three is a minimum. Um, if you want to have a, an expensive day pouring three twos into this, then um, that's an option as well. Uh, that's the, obviously the downside with uh, support guns. You know, typically we uh, on recoils we get more range and accuracy utilizing the heavier ammos and making the guns able to lift and send them at a decent pace um, and obviously uh, uh, with a support gun um, you know you're pouring you know a, a thousand rounds into it you know so um so obviously three refills and you've just you know gone through a whole bottle of uh, ammo that said obviously if you've got a 1400 pound gun and you know one could argue obviously uh you know skimping on the cost of ammo is uh also uh, odd you know so but um so yeah so we recommend uh uh, with this particular one, um, uh, this has got the R hop in there, so, um, so obviously it's uh, uh, getting quite a lot of lift on there. Uh, we was kind of hoping for a, for a speed bump, uh, but I don't think we really sort of saw that uh, happen. Um, so, because um, uh, we were sort of hoping to you know, cheeky sort of get a cheek, cheeky FPS bump, but um, but it didn't really sort of um, uh, go that way. Um, so we fit the Prometheus um, uh, purple nub, but obviously we um, uh, modified it so it's flat to go with the R hop. Um, uh, again, we was hoping for a small, sort of small bump. You know, typically Prometheus purples uh, do that. Um, what else do we do? Retro arms bushings. So obviously we stripped down the gearbox and um, replaced the plastic uh, bushings with the metal retro arms ones. Um, and then obviously we had to uh, reshim uh, to that. Um, so um, uh, obviously just if anybody's doing that at home, you know, you, you will need um, very specific shims uh, for the. Um, uh, the sector gear and the spur gear so uh, uh, whereas the bevel is the normal NGRS one so you can just use your normal uh, shims uh, for that particular one um, so yeah uh, in terms of other upgrades there's nothing we can really do about the barrel uh, but obviously we, we saw the R-hop in that and um, power springs we fit the Eagle 6 uh, uh, 320 mil spring uh, and uh, we fit uh, three power spaces behind them, so um, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get those power spaces, you know, listed on the website, so obviously everybody else can, you know, pump their powers up if they want to. But um, uh, uh, until then, if you know what I mean, they're just sort of we're, we're just sort of using them for us in, inside the workshop. Um, but uh, uh, basically, we got um, on average five to ten FPS bump, uh, you know, per spacer, and we found that um, uh, it was getting uh, a really good result. Um, uh, so it's three. Uh, oh, I'm picking a shot through here. You can find out. So, two seventy one, and this is on three ammo. So, so which is a really, really good result. Um, yeah. So, so the maximum FPS that it can go um, is two eighty six on three. So, um, so yeah, so I mean, there's technically a tiny bit to eke out, if you know what I mean, but obviously traveling uh, threes at 270 FPS, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a much better speed, if you know what I mean, than getting a reading on that says, say, 240, you know, just as an example, so, uh, or even less, actually, if the gun's stock. So, so yeah, in terms of uh, upgrades, I know it really seems like sort of, you know, externally to people who don't know that are small numbers, but, you know, um, when you're dealing with the heavier ammos and and when they start to drop below like the 240 sort of fps you, you can you can really see them with the human eyes you know so not just you but obviously the enemy as well you know so um uh, opposing player so um it yeah so it's, it's really important that obviously we, we get above that sort of 240 uh, sort of minimum area um uh, which we have done so and, and like i say uh, getting ideally as close to as possible without you know the peaking over with obviously that two uh, reading as well so um but yeah, yeah 271 is you know just for literally just sticking it straight across the corner here good reading uh, obviously it's going to be plus or minus um uh, a few uh but yeah otherwise i think that's about it in terms of um talking about this one so they're still um um uh, going really well if you know what i mean in terms of um i mean obviously you know due to the expense of the gun it's not like they fly off the shelves if you know what i mean but uh, uh in terms of you know sales and stuff they you know um 
it's, it's, you know, we're not just the only ones that's selling them. So, um, and obviously we've sold a, a fair few. So, you know, you can bind them with all over. There's, 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 a, there's a few out there in the UK at the moment. Still um, a, a rare thing, I think, seeing them on, on sites and stuff. But um, uh, obviously uh, having upgrades available just gives you a lot more confidence, I think, in, in buying into one. Uh, if you know that obviously, you know, you can upgrade it to, you know, to, to, to a performance level, you know. So, uh, but yeah, we'll get some rounds, just make sure everything's uh, all good to go. Um, I think that's about it. I think so. Re relatively simple on these, you know. So. Two fifty, I think. So, um, so yeah, that is a, a beast. So solid test, and like I say, we've uh, pinged a bunch of shots at um, uh, range, and um, yeah, uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, and uh, if you have any problems, obviously let us know. But um, yeah, we look forward to obviously um, uh, we've got two more to do, um, and then obviously upgrading more and more of these. You know, so um, uh, they're a lovely gun, and it's uh, nice to see them obviously being uh, adopted more. So cool, right. Thank you very much.